Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a GPU here. This one is a GTX 980 Ti and uh, it's been a few years that uh, the client hasn't uh, did a service on this one and it's running really hot and I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna make a video to show you guys how to open it up and how you can repaste clean up the whole system and the uh, uh, thermal pads on this one. If yours is running hard or it's just crashing or you want to just repaste, you can do this one. This one is kind of bent over, so I'm going to straighten it up right there. Okay. So uh, for thermal pads, we're going to be using a two millimeter thermal pad and one millimeter thermal pad. For thermal paste, you're going to be using a thermal glue cryonaut. Uh, alcohol, 99% isopropylic or isopropylic alcohol. Workshop towel, one sheet of the workshop towel, or probably two sheets, depends how much you need. Uh, toothbrush, and uh, for the opening tool, we're gonna be using a screwdriver set for this one. The yeah, iFix screwdriver set, these are one of the best screwdrivers out there. We're gonna be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers. If not, grab a tweezers, a sharp tweezers, and a spatula, plastic one. And with all this on hand, you're gonna get it started. So first thing first, we're gonna flip it over upside down. This one been opened previously, so I'm just gonna, I don't know how, what kind of thermal paste they had in there or anything like that. So we're gonna remove all the screws that we see down here. And first we're gonna remove these four screws that in the middle, these have a little spring on them. So I'm gonna cross open them. So open one there, one right over here, make it as a habit. Um, because when you close it down, you want to do it on the same X pattern shape. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right. Now that we removed the screws, what do you want to do? You want to flip it, open it up a little bit. You might want to spread them away from each other. And you want to separate the cables right in here. Move these cables upward. This one right here. And open it up. The thermal pads are probably going to get stuck there or here. So you want to rip all these thermal pads away. And put it just like that. And remove the cable for fans right here. Just pull them up. And this thermal pad for the power regulator. So this one over here, this is like a one millimeter and the VRAMs are the two millimeters. You're gonna be doing something with this thermal pad I'll show you at the end to make it a little better. So as we can see, they have changed the thermal paste on this one, so we're gonna clean it up. So I don't know what kind of thermal paste they have in here. So we're gonna grab an alcohol. Yours might be a different one. If yours is really stuck, just the same thing. You just wanna clean it up nicely. Rub that thing, make sure it's nice and clean. Same thing on the CPU die. You don't have to worry about around the die or anything like that, but if you wanna go around them, be careful with the capacitors and you wanna use a plastic spatula and clean it all around it if you need to, but it's not necessary. And then you wanna grab a toothbrush to clean up the dust on the board, anything like that. You can take it outside and blow some air through here to make it even less dusty. And we're not gonna remove the back plate right now, but I'm gonna show you we're gonna use the back plate because there's a little space in there. We're gonna fill it up with a thermal pad so it can absorb a little more heat from the VRAMs and the CPU. So it can actually be a useful more than just being a back plate. We're gonna use this thermal pads or some other thermal pads. But if you wanna get a new one, grab a new three millimeter thermal pads, that'll be all. Okay, so now we have this one finished. I'm just gonna polish this one with a polisher. You don't need to polish it, but I'm just gonna go extra step and take it to uh, my polishing station and just polish it up, make sure it's nice and shiny. So you see the difference right now. And once I finish with it, I'll show you. All right, so for now, I'm gonna take it outside, use a blow and blow some air through the fans and clean them nicely one by one. And make sure everything, there's dust, uh, there's no dust in here. And I'll be back right after this. All right, guys, now you can see I nice and polished it nicely so it's like a really nice and shiny and so we have the true copper I cleaned it outside I took it outside and cleaned it 
Now we can go ahead and um, put the thermal pads on the other side. First, we're going to remove this back plate. To remove the back plate, there's only a few screws holding it on the board. So we're going to remove the tiny screws that touches the board. There should be chrome screws. There's about four of them, I believe. Okay, there we are. And now we can just go ahead and lift up the plate and flip it over. So all we need to do is to place thermal pads over the VRAMs where they are. So you can use that thick thermal pads or you can use whatever thermal pads you want. It's just to grab that extra heat that they're gonna make. So we're gonna dissipate them through here. So I'm gonna put one over there, put a few over here. And one piece right there. You can get a three millimeter thermal pads. That's more ideal. So there we have it. Once we have this one in here, all you need to do is to just grab the back plate, put it straight over, and we are gonna grab this one here and we're gonna put the plate on the back. And we're gonna hold it and we're gonna flip it upside down and we're gonna put the screws that we removed on again back on the plate. So that's gonna help a little bit to absorb all those little extra heat from the other side of the PCB. So it's very really beneficial. Now we're gonna clean up the CPU die, make sure there's no dust or anything on top of the CPU die. Nice and clean. We're gonna grab our thermal pad. This is a two millimeter. Let's start with the one millimeter thermal pads. And we're gonna grab a scissor and we're gonna cut and we're gonna place over the power regulator. So we're gonna cut it straight through here. I don't have a good scissors here. So we're going to place one right here. We're going to make a little space for the screw hole. Remember the thermal pads, they have a double side plastic. So you need to remove both sides. There's a little part I still need to put, a little piece. There we go. In here. You can just cut one part, it's just for the screw hole. You can really screw over the thermal pads, that's fine. So I need one small piece still. For one last block right there. There we go. Now we're going to grab our two millimeter thermal pads. And I have to cut right there. So I'm going to cut it with a cutter. It's better to cut it with a... So I'm going to cut it right over here. So there's one. There's two, and the third one is going to be tech one. I don't want to make too tech, but yeah. So uh, you can put a tech one, nothing happens. Put a nice, make sure the thermal pad doesn't go over the diodes over here, it has to go over the uh, VRAMs only. There we have it. Now we have, once we have this one here, now we need to go with the thermal paste. We're gonna grab our thermal paste. I don't know how much I have left on this one. So there's a whole bunch still in here. And we're gonna 
we can put a one dot big dot in the middle or you can just cross it it's not conductive so don't worry about putting too much or anything like that with a cross i like to put it on a cross x pattern right there there we go so there we have it once we have it in this position now we need to first plug in the cable so we're gonna put it face to face like in this position we're gonna bring the cables on the bottom we're gonna connect this cable right there and we're gonna connect the cables on this side Once we have those ones in there, now we're gonna put it actually down. And I don't want the thermal pads to fall down. Just gonna punch them tiny bit so they get stuck to it. But I still gotta connect this fan right there. So I'm gonna bring it over like a book and we're gonna bring it in this position. And I'm gonna reach the cable here. And I'm gonna plug in the cable. Once the cable is plugged, I'm gonna go upside down like this and make sure the screw holes match and bring down the whole board right on this heat sink. And the last thing down here would be to just put these screws. Don't tighten up yet, so put them gently. Cross screw them always. Cross screw them like that. And then you go another pass and you make sure you tighten it up. Not too tight, but gentle. And that should cover this video. I hope you guys liked it and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And we're going to do a testing and see the temperature difference on this one. So there's the thermal pads on this side helping the VRAMs right there. Okay. And on this side, we got a nice amount of pressure going to VRAMs and the GPU and everything. It looks pretty fine. Again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.